So I made a video recently in which I tested the RAM usage of some of the top web browsers out there on PC. In that video, I put three web browsers to the test, Chrome, Edge, and Firefox. And it was great to then see you guys share your experience of using those browsers from a RAM perspective. But some of you guys also mentioned other web browsers, and two of them really stood out, Rave and Opera. This video will basically be a sequel to the first one. So just as we did with Chrome, Edge, and Firefox, we're going to put Brave and Opera to the test and see which one prevails. We will then see how they fare relative to the browsers from the first video. Just as we did in the first video, we'll be using a high-end Windows PC with 32GB of RAM for this test. This allows both Brave and Opera to use all the RAM they need for the websites that we're going to test with no restrictions. And of course, no browser extensions will be in use in either browser. We will test Brave and Opera from the perspective of an average user, doing so by accessing a combination of websites that mirrors or reflects the activity of an average user. Specifically, we will focus on five websites that fall under different categories, including social media websites like YouTube and Reddit, informational websites like Wikipedia, AI slash productivity websites like ChatGPT, and online shopping websites like eBay. And as we access each website, we will be able to measure how much RAM each browser is using to access and perform certain actions on each website. All right, let's get started. So we kick things off by loading the same YouTube video on both browsers and setting it to the highest available quality. Brave did better than Opera here, using 430 megabytes of RAM compared to Opera's 550 megabytes of RAM to play that same YouTube video. But the difference was a lot smaller between the two browsers when it came to Wikipedia. We opened and scrolled through the Wikipedia article for Brave, and Opera ended up using around 65 megabytes of RAM, which was just a bit more than Brave which used 60 megabytes of RAM. So as you can see here, we can probably treat this as identical performance because while Brave is technically more efficient, the difference is pretty much negligible. And similar to the first test with the other browsers, I was surprised by the significant difference in RAM usage for Reddit. So we loaded and we scrolled through the main page for the Opera subreddit. Opera used approximately 445 megabytes of RAM, whereas Brave only needed 110 megabytes for that same page. So it seems like Brave has the edge, pun intended, over Opera when it comes to Reddit, but I will be going back to Reddit later in the video. The difference was smaller when we got to ChatGPT. We asked the AI chatbot questions about Opera and Opera GX. Specifically, we asked them, tell me about Opera and Opera GX, what platforms are they available on, and which of them should I use? And we then let ChatGPT generate its answers for the same questions on each browser. Brave was more efficient here once again, using around 170 megabytes of RAM, which was 30 megabytes less RAM than Opera needed. Last but not least, there was a pretty small difference in RAM usage for eBay. Taking a look at this page for an HP Victus gaming laptop, Brave used around 255 megabytes of RAM and Opera used just a bit more RAM at around 265 megabytes. Similar to Wikipedia, we can probably also treat this as identical performance as the difference is pretty much negligible, even though Brave was technically more efficient. Overall, Brave seems to clearly be the better browser when it comes to RAM usage. It was more efficient than Opera across all the websites that we tested, and it was especially more efficient in YouTube and Reddit. But how do Brave and Opera compare to the browsers that we tested in the first video? So how do they compare to Chrome, Edge and Firefox when it comes to RAM usage? Well, it's very interesting. I decided to include Brave and Opera in the same test that we performed on the other three browsers and compare their RAM usage to the results from the previous video. Brave and Opera came first and second respectively for YouTube, with Brave using 420 megabytes of RAM for that YouTube video, the one by Mr. Who's the Boss from last time, and Opera using 530 megabytes for that same video. Very similar figures to the Brave vs Opera test. When it comes to Wikipedia, Brave came second and Opera came third, using 100 megabytes and 110 megabytes of RAM respectively. Firefox still remains the browser that used the least RAM to load the Wikipedia article for Google Chrome, using only 80 megabytes of RAM. But when we got to ChatGPT, there was a bigger separation between both browsers. 
Brave used around 150 megabytes of RAM for the prompts that we used in the last video, and this placed it second, only behind Edge, which used 125 megabytes. On the other hand, Opera came fourth, using 210 megabytes of RAM. So it was only ahead of Firefox, which used 230 megabytes for those same prompts. All right, now we get to the part that really caught my attention, and that's Reddit and eBay. Loading that Reddit page with text and video content, which we used in the last video, Opera actually did better than Brave, and I mean significantly better. Opera used about 490 megabytes of RAM, whereas Brave used an interesting 650 megabytes. So while there was a pretty big difference for Reddit in Brave's favor in the Brave vs Opera test, it was somehow the other way around this time. Opera placed second behind Firefox and Brave placed third. But this didn't end here. The same thing happened with eBay, although maybe the difference wasn't as significant. Opera came third using around 225 megabytes of RAM and Brave came fourth using a bit more RAM at approximately 280 megabytes. Now, I made sure to run both the Brave vs Opera test and the wider test with all five browsers multiple times to see if this was just a coincidence, but the results were consistent. Definitely let me know what you think of that in the comments. All right, so now that we've performed both tests, we can actually rank all of those browsers. And what I'll do is I'll produce two types of rankings. Let's start with the first ranking. This one is based on individual website use. So what that means is the rank of each browser if we were to run a browser session with only one of those websites at a time. Edge and Brave both came equal first overall with 18 points each. Edge came third in YouTube and Wikipedia, fourth in Reddit and first in ChatGPT and eBay. Whereas Brave came first in YouTube, second in Wikipedia, third in Reddit, second in ChatGPT and fourth in eBay. Firefox came second overall with 17 points. It came fourth in YouTube, first in Wikipedia and Reddit, last in ChatGPT and second in eBay. Opera then came third overall with 16 points, coming second in YouTube, third in Wikipedia, second in Reddit, fourth in ChatGPT and third in eBay. Lastly, Chrome came last overall with only eight points. It came last in YouTube, fourth in Wikipedia, last in Reddit, third in ChatGPT and last in eBay. But what about the second ranking? This ranking is based on the total amount of RAM that each browser needed to run all the websites that we used for the tests. So that means that we are looking at how the browsers would perform if we were to access all the websites at once in that one browsing session. And as you would have probably guessed, the order differs significantly for this ranking. Firefox came first this time, using only 1.54 gigabytes of RAM. Opera came second, using a bit more RAM at 1.57 gigabytes. Brave came third at 1.6 gigabytes, Edge came fourth at 1.81 gigabytes, and Chrome came last using 2.78 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, those figures tell us how much RAM each browser used for the websites only. They don't tell us the additional amount of RAM that each browser also needs to actually run. But what do you think about this? Have you had a particularly positive or negative experience with any of those browsers? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe and feel free to let me know in the comments if there is anything tech you're interested in and want me to make a video about. Also, please consider supporting me by donating to my channel through buymeacoffee.com. I would really appreciate any support as I continue to bring fun and interesting content like this. Only if you can, of course. Link down below. This was the Wizard of Tech and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.